this is our 15th, I believe, installment of <coughs> the Polaris XCR 600 rebuild. And this is the water pump. <coughs> um, we're going to um, put some new parts in this water pump. Um, when I took it off, I noticed that it had a broken little piece right here off the actual impeller itself. <coughs> uh, for one, I'm going to use it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure it'll, it'll work all right. Uh, maybe you fanatics out there might want to take and buy another one, but I, I've sunk enough money into this thing. I'm 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 pretty done. Um, it, the parts on this are so expensive that I'm trying to get out of it as as less expensive as I can. Um, the reason why I'm rebuilding this is because this particular pump runs off the engine uh, crankshaft and it's bolted to the crankshaft and it's designed in such a way that when this seal fails um, you end up having a galactic kegger inside your engine and that it, it, uh, it floods your engine with uh, coolant and uh, you know you throw a rod or uh, or uh, hydraulic your engine or bend a rod or break things or it's a huge catastrophe inside. Okay, in order to rebuild one of these you need a new gasket and that's the the gasket that goes on the on the engine. There's a gasket that goes around here uh, that looked really nice. I I'm really not going to replace this one. Uh, it looks like somebody's had this apart at one time or another so I'm just going to use some Ultra gray. I'm going to clean that gasket up and use some ultra gray on it. And I believe the gasket's up here for the uh, manifold. Also, I'm going to use it, uh, reuse it. Nothing wrong with it. To rebuild your water pump, you need this little infinitesimal O-ring. You need a sealing plate. The uh, actual <coughs> water pump mechanical seal itself and uh, I suggest putting two new bearings in it. Um, to do this it's, it's pretty expensive. You can buy a used pump online but you don't know what you're going to get. It may be good, maybe not. Um, this is important uh, because if it fails uh, so does your engine. So this has to be done um, you know these parts especially the seals and whatnot have to be done right. Um, if there is an impeller uh, piece broken, small piece broken, it's not going to, I'm not going to race the sled, I'm not going to drive it hard. Realistically, it's probably going to be put in my garage and I'm going to rub it with a diaper for most of its life. Um, I'm just showing a tutorial on this on how to do it. <coughs> so, you know, this little piece here broke off. It, I don't think it's going to impair the pump that much. It's still going to circulate the water quite nicely. Um, I don't think I'm going to have a problem. So let me get this tore down and I will show you the innards of it and uh, we'll go from there.